Hey viewers, this is my spirit board video. The last time you saw my spirit board, it was covered in crystals and broken rings and little beaded guy and like a bunch of stuff on my altar and it was dusty, but I have cleaned it off so I can more appropriately explain and show you what it's all about. So this spirit board was made for a pendulum. It was made by my mother, handmade. A lot of spirit boards I looked up today online and I found out that a lot of spirit boards, what they call spirit boards, are the kind that are meant to look just like a Ouija board and it's got like yes and no up here and then it has the alphabet going across in however many rows and then it has numbers and it might say goodbye. Um, there should also be a separate wooden piece that's that triangle piece that has the little window in it that uh, you you put over the board and people place their hands on it and it moves and you see it, the answer through the window. Um, apparently that's what most people call a spirit board, like a talking board, like the Ouija board. But um, my mom made this for our pendulums because we were using our pendulums a lot right after we got them and we have never had good luck with Ouija boards. So there's this, but it was made with basically the same idea and it's got the alphabet around here, numbers at the bottom, and the yes and no was because if you work with pendulums at all or if you just know anything about pendulums, you know that each pendulum is individual and each one does a different thing for yes and no. So this was made for my pendulum. Decoration wise, she just kind of put some stuff around here like, here's her initials, of course. Um, she just put a trichirda here. Um, some people pronounce that triquatra, and I don't know why they pronounce it like that, because it's not spelled like that. So I pronounce it trichirda. And then over here, just have a little triple moon design. Over here on the side, she put the elemental sigils, the symbols for the elements, um, which would be fire, this one's water, air, and earth. Yeah. And then up around the top, I read the Theban alphabet or the witch's alphabet. Um, I've also heard it sometimes called the Phoenician alphabet, but other times when I look up Phoenician in a book, it looks more like runes. So I'm going to call this the Theban alphabet. Um, it's the same alphabet that's around the circumference of my pentacle necklace that I showed in my altar video. Anyway, um, it's supposed to say the Wiccan read around the outside, which is, and it harm none, do as thou wilt. But this actually, she did it kind of backwards. Um, this actually says, do as ye will, and ye harm none. Basically the same thing, just my mom wrote it kind of backwards, and I don't know, whatever. So, and then in the center, I have... A malachite, which I think might be part of the reason that I haven't been having such good luck working with this. Besides the fact that my pendulum is very temperamental, and I think I made the mistake in like pretending that my pendulum is a person that I can talk to because he has a huge attitude. So, but I think the malachite, because I've heard malachite, um, you need to be really careful when you wear malachite because it reflects whatever you feel. So they say that you need to be really careful when you wear malachite because if you're feeling negative then it's just going to amplify the negativity. So I'm thinking maybe not such a good stone to have in this. Provided I get my mom's permission, right now will be the spot where I switch to the clip to show you her spirit board. Um, this is my mom's altar. This is the main part of my mom's altar. And it also goes up onto the shelf. And I'm going to show you her spirit board. I will ask her permission before I show this. But here is my mom's spirit board. It's huge 
it's enormous. Compared to mine, it is so ridiculously big. Um, and her decorations, she just has a star and a moon, and then all the way around she put zodiac symbols. And up at the top here, when I taught her the Theban alphabet, she wrote Blessed Be, because that is a favorite saying of hers. And her center stone is a clear quartz. And so, and then her initials, of course, because she handmade it. Um, do you see this? A cat. Kitty. Do you want to say hello? What's going on? This is Sierra. She's our newest kitty. Hi. Say hi. Yeah. She hangs out in my mom's room. Um, our other, our black cat, Mystery, hangs out in my room a lot. Um, but yeah, they like to be all over the altars. There is my mom's spirit board and the cat. <laughs> this is my pendulum. Right now, right now, this is how he is. Because I got this, uh, how many years ago? <laughs> years ago at Lake Conneaut, Pennsylvania's Pumpkin Festival. My mom and I, and my little brother, we went out there because my mom uh, used to own a gift shop. She still owns the company, but she doesn't have a specific location right now. She is the owner of Down to Earth Designs, and so she sells these. She makes them handmade. It's all wood burned and whatever else, and she puts little personal touches in there, like she'll she hasn't made any ahead of time. Like, she prefers to have someone come in and order it and say, you know, I want an amethyst in the middle, and then she'll do it all for you. But, um, I should probably find some more information on that, and then you guys can check it out. We need to make a website also. We need to find a hosting place, because I can make one, but, uh, yeah, we need hosting. Anyways, uh, shameless plugs. Like I said, my pendulum has been being very temperamental, but I'm just gonna try and get him to basically show you how this is supposed to work. I don't have a table also to balance my elbow on, which is bad. You should always balance your elbow on a table. But I'm just kind of showing you a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, so basically, hey pendulum. Are you excited to be on the internet? There we go, now I've sort of got my elbow on it. Hey Pendulum, would you like to say hello to the viewers? Okay, he's saying yes, he wants to say hi to you, but... Okay, stop. Uh, would you like to spell out hi for the viewers? He's actually swinging toward H. I'm very impressed with this. I should have said hello because hi is the same two letters right next to each other, huh? Oh, but now he's going toward I. Oh, you're so good. Okay, yeah, so that's basically how it works. I need to do a lot more personal practice with this because I know it will be awesome. Oh, um, my mom got the idea for this, um, for the whole, for the design and everything and the idea from a book. She told me what the book was the other day. I can't remember it right now, but at the end of the video, I will put the name. Yeah, so that's my spirit board. That's sort of how he works. And uh, he. I keep saying he. I don't know why I think my pendulum is a male. Whatever. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any more questions, you know, maybe if I discover anything really awesome about it after I work with him for a while, I will post another video. But um, I'm getting a text message right now, so I'm going to go. Blessed be.